guys welcome back this is nick up here at maple motors in hendersonville tennessee and you know i do test drives going over flaws that's what we're doing today this here is a 1963 ford f100 this is a step side truck it's got a chevrolet 350 under the hood and an automatic transmission so you can see no power steering no power brakes but it's super clean the paint under the hood matches the outside Mustang 2 front suspension with rack and pinion steering. Disc brakes. It's got headers, painless wiring, harness, bucket seats, B&M shifter. It's got the tilt steering column. Auto meter tack and gauges, Grant steering wheel. It's got the wood bed. Let's check that out. All the trim and chrome bumpers have been replaced. They're nice. And a staggered set of 15-inch chrome wheels. Get them BFG tires. What we're going to be doing is a full test drive, going over the flaws. Be sure to hit subscribe and share this video. That helps me out quite a bit. I've been doing this for a long time. And you can check out maplemotors.com for financing, shipping, and detailed pictures. It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. It don't get much better than today. Nice and warm. I even took my hoodie off. Let's just throw her in the floor. These are comfortable. What are these out of? I recognize these seats. Is this like our early 90s Chevrolet seat? Am I am I right? I don't I don't know. I recognize them though. That's soft. Uh, you know those fur blankets? If you go to Walmart, you see them in the bin. Well, somebody put it on the headliner. <laughs> and on the gas tank. Tinted windows. Grant steering wheel. Place those bets. Do you think the horn works? I haven't tried it. This is actually my first time pulling it up and driving it. I've gotten to where I do the uh, walk arounds first. Kind of gives me an idea what I'm working with. This one here does start up good. That was a uh, cold start earlier. Started right up. Wipers. Yeah, they do work. Well, what else we got here? There's our fan. I hear it. It's blowing. Got it back off. Radio. We'll give her a second. Turn it all the way up. Turn it up. <laughs> bow, bow, boom, 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 boom. Tilt column, turn signals, left, right, tack, oh yeah, oil pressure, engine temperature, surprised it's not higher than that, I've had it running for a little bit, well, 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 non-working gas gauge, we're charging, can't stand behind the mileage, all the gauges have been changed out, now does the choke work? <laughs> uh, I'll let you decide that. All right, radio's not working. Horn, what do you think? No other button. That's it. Let's hit the road. See how she runs and drives. Well, I've got that camera tight now. You're not flipping upside down. I'll tell you what, I took your muff off. It goes around the camera. They're like two dollars online. I think I just ordered the ones for the GoPros, but they fit my DJI camera, which I'm proud to have. I like having this camera. Works real well. It works real good. I see the seatbelt down there. GM seatbelts. Wind is smooth. Smooth operator. Tell you what, pretty nice truck. Again, this is the first time that I've driven this. We'll go ahead and try our reverse out. No power steering. Reverse is working. Neutral and drive there. Instead of being drive, that's neutral. That's drive, okay. Well, when you put it in drive, it says two. So that's not exactly synced up right. It goes right into drive though. 
we have brakes. Decent brakes. And decide the way I like it. There we go, we'll do that. We're going to the gas station first off. Right now it's showing no gas. Kind of curious if it works. We're pushing it to the limit, but I'm going to say it doesn't. About our vent window. Somebody said they want me to open vent windows. Oh, you gotta be careful with that one. No power steering, little steering wheel. Once you get rolling, it's easier, but. It's pulling to the left, so when I let go of this steering wheel, check, I end up in the fast lane there. do all the tricks in the book to get these undercarriage shots. Also, what do you think? You think the gas gauge works? It'll be another little bet here. I'm going to say no if it was my guess. But what do you think? Alright, so getting some fuel and then we'll continue this test drive. Be sure to look below in the description. It's full of useful information. Uh, I don't want you to miss anything that you might need to know. Be back. She's sitting low. I'm telling you, every time I pull these cars off the car lot, when you don't have any in the background, oh, any classics in the background, they really, really stand out. I mean, it's like no other truck on the road right now. But it did hold twenty dollars worth of fuel, so a little over five gallons. Somebody had. A whole lot of Chevrolet in their blood on this truck. I can tell you that. <laughs> what about that gauge? I'm gonna say no. And I was correct. It's not moving. Let's go ahead and start it up. Let's check it again. They just don't have it uh, hooked up. Look over our gauges before we leave. The vitals looking good. And we're gonna roll out here. Again, look at this. So, you can pop it back. That should be drive, right? Well, it's not. One more. There's drive. I double checked when we got here. And you can see I'm steering with one hand. It's still pretty tight. But uh, once you get rolling, a lot easier.
got y'all on the head cam in the driver's seat here. We're gonna take off back to the lot and uh, go to picking out the flaws on this video. That's where I'm walking around looking for dents, scratches, chips, rust. And I can tell you something, I already did that before I left the lot. And I'm gonna put it at the end of the video. This is a pretty clean truck. There's not really much I could say on the paint other than there was a lot of wax. But stick around to the end there. There's our, see I'll show you. Even just a slow creep back into it. It's stiff, but yeah, that's drive there. Been a pretty good test drive. She's staying cool at 180. Oil pressure's 25 to 35 as I'm driving. Do you gotta manually turn off your turn signals. You use our brakes here. Speedometer is a little fast. So we're running 35, 40 mile an hour right now. Speedometer says 50. This is a very low gear truck. Great in-town cruiser, highway cruiser. I wouldn't be going 70 because this thing would be screaming at 70. I mean, that's 50. Well, that looks like an awkward position for that big old truck. I know they're going to the park to pick up debris, but that park is destroyed. So sad, I fished there all my life. Hopefully they get it back open, which is never gonna look the same. It used to just be really, really thick wooded area. Uh, the archery thing in the back and the tornado destroyed it all. Bumping the road here. Not too bad, a little bit stiff in the front. That uh, noise you're hearing is an exhaust leak from a donut gasket on the front here. It's actually right here under my driver's seat. We'll go ahead and pull into Brian's Motorsports. I like coming down here to see what he's doing. Check him out, brianzmotorsports.com. You can see him on Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, all of those good social medias. He customizes vehicles for a living. Old schools. And the new stuff. You can catch him at the SEMA show. And he's all about cars, trucks, Jeeps foreign cars it doesn't matter just hit him up that's brianzmotorsports.com he don't pay me to say that he's just like family and it's a really cool spot all right guys well it's showing my cameras about to die so we're getting ready to pull back into the car a lot picking out the flaws is coming up next stick around for that and i'll see you in a minute later Well, we're gonna walk around this ride, look for chips, scratches, rust, and dents. Anything I find, you'll know about it. 100 detailed pictures at maplemotors.com. Let's go. Bumper on the front of this one. Ready. Like I said, chrome has been replaced on this one. Whole lot of new trim. A little scuff there, that should come out. I mean, they even painted the top of the radiator on this one to match. It's super cool. Tires are in great shape. Up and over your fender. And a couple scuffs here. A 
chip here at the bottom. Wax left over. Light scratch here in the back. Scuff at the bottom, that is a scratch. Touch up mark, scuffs in the back. That should come out there. Got some light little specks here on top of the fender. Little spot there. Wax there. That come off. A little wax around the lock. It's coming off. Chip. Spots. Chip up here. That's coming off. Some wax. Somebody put a lot of wax on this. I'm seeing it all over the place. I'm wiping every bit of it off. I used to detail up here for a long, long time. I would always go over the car the next day and try to get the rest of the wax off. Because the first day, look, it's all around this trim here. It's easily taken off. You gotta wax off, Mr. Miyagi. Chrome looks good. Little bubbles here. It's the first bubbles I've seen on this one. Back windows look decent. Got a little sap on there or something. Chips on top of the bed here. Scuff there. That'll come out. Scuff here. Very nice flooring here. And up on the back. Looks like newer chains. It's got a little bit of rust going. Alright, we're going to go ahead and pull this. You got a little holes here on the back. There it goes. We only need one for now. We're not going to stand on that. Little scratches here. Chip there. Scuffs on that rail. We'll go ahead and finish up with the inside of the bed here. A little scratch there. Let's see it from the other side. All right, we'll go ahead and run this side here. The inside of the bumper is showing a little bit of rust. Just surface rust though. We got fat tires on this truck. Little scuff there on the edge. Little 
chip here. Little chips. Let's go. Handle looks good. Mark there. Well, I tell you what, we made it around the outside of this one. Let's go ahead and check out that interior. And shadow. Well, I can't complain too much about the sun. I have been dealing with rain and snow and all that stuff, keeping me behind on these videos. I'm just going to deal with the shadows today. Say I love it. I do. This feels like springtime already. Little scuffs. Right there. Now check out all this fuzz. <laughs> That's right, Raggy. The headliner's fuzzy. <laughs> And the cake panels are fuzzy. Controls there. I don't know what's on them. I guess they're just dry. All the knobs are like that. They even got a fuzzy gas tank. there, don't it? We'll just pull her up on top for now, I guess. I don't want it rubbing on that either, though. Before I take off, I may reposition that. Get it tightened up over here. That's probably the best place to put it. But we'll deal with that here in a moment. Coming down. Ooh, that's a... Gotta shake it good. This thing needs to be greased. Hey, it won't fall on your head, that's for sure.
light scuff. Guys, pretty clean truck overall. I've enjoyed this walk around. Make sure we check the windshield. Of course, it's nice and clean. Somebody's replaced that. Detail pictures, finance, and shipping. You know where it's available at. MapleMotors.com. That's an important website if you want to buy a car from us. Now that we got all the test drive links on there, you can go to this truck's picture in our inventory list, and it'll say test drive video. That's with every car on the lot now. So you can just go to the website, see what's available. If the video's not up yet, that means I haven't made it. Um, basically, when we do the updates, I start the videos. I try to stay ahead. Sometimes I'm way ahead. Sometimes I'm way behind. Depends on this weather. And today, I'm getting ahead. I can tell you that. Be sure to hit subscribe and share this video. I've been doing this a long time. And uh, with your help, I can do it a lot longer. My next goal is to try to get to that million point, which I'm close to halfway there but i've got a lot more work to do i do appreciate it guys and i'll see you in the next video later